Do I need to call you the female version of Steph Curry or do I need to call Steph Curry the male version of Caitlin Clark? Uh, I think I'll just be the female version of Steph Curry. If there is one open secret that everybody knows, then that would be Caitlin Clark is the Steph Curry of women's basketball. But see, beyond the logo threes and long range bombs, their overall game and play style are actually eerily similar to one another. To the point that you're kind of looking in the mirror whenever these two greats are doing their thing. Six assists for Green. Curry along three. That's good! Steph Curry! Stays here with Indiana. Clark, a deep one. You bet! Clark, what a pass. Hit! What a look by Curry! And to prove just that even further, here are some crazy identical plays from CeCe and the chef that will blow your brains out. Anyway, to start things off blazing, let's time travel a bit to the 2015 NBA Finals, when Steph puts on the sauce on Matthew Della Vadova and sticks it in with this nasty step back. Send Barnes to be the guy catching the basketball off the rotation. Curry steps back. Ha ha! Stephen Curry with some Damn, boy. The chef just put Delhi on Dancing with the Stars there without his consent. And in a similar fashion, that's what Caitlyn did to this gal when she bought some real estate to plant this prey. And that's the way to push the ball in transition. Oh, that's not gonna waste much time. Now, from sending Delhi reeling with his fancy footwork, the golden boy of the Bay Area also knows how to feed his teammates with flair and finesse. I mean, just check out this no-look dish to Sean Livingston on the break. That's definitely a cotton candy type of pass in my book, because that's just too sweet. Well, as entertaining as that assist was, Cece is also capable of holding her own in these types of playmaking situations. In fact, she once wore her vision goggles against the Mercury to prove to her naysayers that she's a deadly dime dropper too. Game. And Indiana comes up with a turnover. Here is Clark. This time it's Smith with a foul and an and one. Now, speaking of being deadly, check out this in and out dribble before pulling the trigger with a hand on his grill. Out with six and five. Curry for the lead. Man, that's just light work coming from the babyface assassin. And the same thing can be said for Cece when she splashed a big time logo bomb as if it was just the practice drill against the Connecticut Sun. Gets denied by Boston. Wheeler finds Clark from the logo. I mean, it's one of those plays that you know it's coming, but there's just no way of stopping it from happening. And since we're talking about unpredictable stuff, I'm pretty sure that you'll be as blindsided as I am upon seeing this next play. So Steph just exhibited some Spider-Man-like instinct to find the trailing Kevon Looney on the secondary break. Like, that's just super freaky. Now, I know that play is pretty hard to replicate. However, believe it or not, Caitlyn has somehow pulled off her own version of that while having the same level of timing and precision. Clark finds the cutter. What a look! The video game vision of Caitlyn Clark. Well, speaking of insane precision, check out this next play where the chef was still able to find the bottom of the net despite PJ Tucker clinging onto him like a leech. Curry with Tucker right with him. Curry launches a three, puts it in again! Steph just cooked Tucker right there by dipping the sauce before washing down the bad taste with a wet three-point bucket. But see, the chef is not the only player who can grill defenders like that. Cause there was one time when Caitlyn brought her deep bag against the Liberty and absolutely cooked Courtney Vandersloot, if that's even her real name. All night tonight. Are you talking about my high school experience? <laughs> Clark, cut it! Damn, that one was so filthy that even Caitlyn can't help herself from shaking her head in total disgust. And speaking of nasty plays, check out how Steph grounded the Birdman with this shake and bake for the ages. The first seven seconds. Look at this move. I mean, even though he was just a rookie at that time, baby Steph just schooled Chris Anderson like a 20-year-old vet and taught him a thing or two about not being too greedy. 
Well, turns out the class is in session as well for the young Caitlin Clark. Cause against South Carolina, she also had a show and go moment that embarrassed a much bigger defender. Every position. Clark has the mismatch. Oh, Caitlin Clark. Now you see her, now you don't. Caitlin and Steph are indeed both crafty shot makers. And their craftiness also spills out in making eye-popping dimes. Like this next one, when Steph finds Draymond on the break in style. That's what happens here. Behind the back to Draymond to lay it in. Now, in the same manner, Cece also knows how to get fancy when the situation needs her to be. I mean, check out this behind the back assist to Nalissa Smith for the fast break finish. Clark behind the back. Oh, it's Smith with the finish. Anyway. Since we put up that nice finger roll, I kind of remember the time when Steph spread extra jelly on his layup package during his rookie year, which went something like this. Who's the rookie of the year again? He came his head. Steph Curry with the reverse. You can't argue with that sweet move. I mean, it was just too pretty. But see, if Steph can pull magical stuff like that, Caitlyn can do it too. And right on cue, here she is attacking the lane swirling in reverse only three to shoot gonna have to make something happen Clark through the lane reverses it in and beats the shot clock now from doing fancy jellies let's switch things back to dishing out the rock and here's chef cooking another delicious bouncing dime to jared jack in transition jared jack what a Despite the tight window, Steph threads the needle to squeeze one through. And similarly, the point goddess also pulled the same stunt when she whipped an equally gorgeous bounce pass to the running Fagbenli, who then finished things off with a hoop and the harm. It away and off and running, Caitlin Clark wins the pass, thread the needle, my goodness, what a- It really looks like Caitlin is Steph's living and breathing doppelganger when she's dropping dimes like that. But see, aside from passing the rock, Chef Curry is also doing a pretty good job in the handles department. I mean, just check out how he cooked the Blazers defense here with sick dribble combos. This brilliant offense, they're going to make noise in the West. Curry around Covington, pass Nurkic. Well, as smooth as that dribbling clinic was, here's Caitlin's counter to that, punishing her defender with a plethora of moves before capping it off with a bump and a bucket. Physically demanding. So it is extremely difficult. Just one, not only physically, but also mentally staying in it. Now, after seeing those clips, I'm pretty sure that you're now more than convinced that Caitlyn is really the female reincarnation of Steph. Anyway, that's all the time I have for now. Be safe. Thanks for watching, and see you around.